standby video, standby audio, standby lighting. We are recording in five, four, three. Hello everybody, Colin and Riley here at the Charleston Gilliard Center. Today we are back again setting the stage with our favorite lighting technician, David. Hello everybody. And David, what do you got in store for us today? Well, today we are going to pick up where we left off in my last video about ellipsoidals. And I'm going to teach you about how to focus an ellipsoidal spotlight. In the previous lesson, we talked about how we use an ellipsoidal to focus a beam of light on a specific area. The white surface is especially good at reflecting light, so it is easy for us to see the beam of light. We can adjust the position by moving it side to side. This is called pan. We can also move the spotlight up and down. This is called tilt. There are handles on the light that allow us to pan and tilt the light when we loosen them. Once we have it in a position we want, we tighten the handles to lock it in place. We can also shape the beam of light. We do this with metal plates called shutters. The beam of light coming out of the lens is round. We can adjust the edge of the beam by moving the lens tube. The lens tube is a cylinder that contains glass lenses that help focus the light from the lamp and reflector into a tight beam. This is because the glass is transparent. It lets the light through and redirects the light or focuses it into different sized beams. Moving the lens forward or back, we can change the edge of the beam to be nice and sharp or blurry. Finally, there are shutters. They are in between the lamp, reflector, and the lens. They also have handles that allow us to move the shutters into the beam of light, changing the shape of the beam. This is because the shutters are made of metal, which is opaque. It does not let the light pass through, so I can shutter straight lines in the round beam. That's pretty cool. So, you've seen what those ellipsoidals can do from up there in the theater, and now you know how we focus them by panning, tilting, adjusting the lens, and shaping the beam of light with shutters. Makes you look at a light on stage a little different, doesn't it? Thanks for teaching us how to focus the lights, David. And thank you all for joining us, setting the stage at the Charleston Gilliard Center. See you next time. High five. Good girl.